so I've had a number of uh, people asking me uh, the different things that I've done with my um, Cricut gear trailer and I've made a few videos already but I thought maybe um, it would be nice if I made a video that basically described um, pretty much everything that I've done with it so far so I'm just gonna walk around the whole outside of the unit go inside kind of uh, just showing uh, all the different things that I've done and uh, hopefully I'll give somebody an idea of maybe something that you would want to do um, so we'll just get started here um, <clears throat> one thing I did on the back was I added this hitch here um, basically did that so I could put a hitch uh, mounted uh, bike rack on the back of the the trailer um, now one downside is and, and I bolted it in here it's all bolted through one thing I will tell you up front I am NOT a welder so I don't know how to weld aluminum um, and everything that I've done um, with the unit is not through welding so I've basically drilled and bolted things together um, if I knew how to weld aluminum maybe I would do it differently but since I don't uh, this is what I have so um, initially it's bolted on in the back with the frame but I did notice there was some a little bit of bouncing to it so I added this uh, piece of heavy-duty aluminum here this is bolted through the the hitch itself and then to the frame so um, that's one of the first things I did second thing is coming around the side here you'll see that I have an under uh, mount tire and what I used for that was just a normal boat winch so I can get my uh, crank handle loosen it crank it around the tire will drop to the ground I can actually pull it out to the back and change a tire that way this was like uh, 20 bucks or something like that so a lot lot cheaper than um, buying something specifically made for a tire mount I just drilled a hole through here and then it goes to the middle of the frame and down and pulls it up that way okay so <clears throat> on to the solar power you'll see up top I have a hundred watt solar power panel basically I have it um, velcroed on here with heavy duty uh, velcro strips I think it's pretty secure um, but you'll notice I do have lines uh, a couple of ropes tied to the front just in case because I really wasn't sure how, how uh, permanent the velcro uh, strips were but it's a two inch wide velcro strips all the way around the whole perimeter and a couple of them in the front, two, two of them in the front to hold the whole thing down and it's wired down um, and under this and basically comes in into this uh, inlet right here the second thing that I have is this um, since this one is mainly permanently mounted I wanted something so when I park in the shade I can still get solar panels so that's what I bought this for basically it's just strapped on the side I can release it give it a little bit of uh, uh, loosen that up a little bit and I got 30 feet of cable in here that I can basically it's it's I, I put a little thing on the back here so my 30 feet of cable just slides right in there and stores there um, and if I pick this up out of here, I can uh, take the the uh, portable one up to 30 feet away from the trailer and uh, hopefully get into the sun with that so that I can maintain the charge in my battery. Let's put that back. And again, just tighten that back up. It is sitting on an aluminum box which houses my hundred and I think it's a hundred and ten 
amp hour uh, marine battery. It's in here. I just built this box out of aluminum, bolted it two places uh, onto the um, step here, and uh, power is running into that out of um, from underneath. I drill the hole right here. This is part of the power that's going into the battery and out of the battery back into the unit. And I'll show you more of that here in a little bit. I also wanted fresh water. So I mounted a jerry, about this jerry can. Mounted that here with a strap. You can uh, pull this down. It's not going to go anywhere. And with a quick release, um, mount here so I can just fill it up, bring it back to the trailer, put it here, connect the hose. The hose goes up and all the way around to the front of the trailer. I'll show you underneath here. So it's going there and basically up and into the trailer kind of underneath here. This other hose that's coming out is my uh, gray water hose from my sink and I just basically capture that in a um, tank that I have store in the front of the unit and I can store this when I'm traveling down the road right in this little hook that stays pretty good it's never come out so far and uh, so when you get to a site just pull it out of there, put this in your tank. When you're ready to go, slide that back up in there. Okay, so that's kind of the side of the trailer. Again, I got my battery, solar panels, um, jerry can full of fresh water, and so on. So let's move up to the front. I did spend some time researching uh, boxes. One thing I wanted to be able to do was to store quite a bit of stuff in here. Here's my uh, um, gray water tank. I got my grill in. One of the things that I really wanted was to be able to store my grill upright, store this can upright, and this box was the perfect fit. You can see the name on it. I, I really like this. I think it's solid. Um, never had any water inside of it. Um, I got a little light so I can switch that on if we get someplace at night or I want to get in there at night and do that. And I mounted that using these two aluminum pieces. These are bolted onto the frame. Um, I didn't really like just sitting it on the frame without some heavy duty aluminum uh, holding that up. So that's what I have these two angles for is just to kind of make it extra secure now the one thing that i haven't finished is the uh the other side i put some diamond plate on the front here bent it around i haven't done that yet to this side i'm still working on that so this is the piece that i'm going to be working on but basically i'm going to do just like i did here bend it around bend it underneath so that's kind of it for the outside um Let's just come inside and see, see what we have. This is with the trailer down. So with the trailer down, I can still climb into bed. I can still climb in to the trailer. And um, I can still sit. I can do uh, a lot of different things. Um, like I said, I can still, I can still go to bed here and go to sleep with the trailer down um, and I'll show you the bed and how I have it set up here in a minute um, one thing that I did do in the front was I added this drawer so we could put all kinds of doodads in there uh, I believe on the standard unit this is where the sink is so you couldn't put a drawer in here. I put my sink to the side um, for a couple of reasons. I wanted to have more space 
for my stove here and then be able to do prepare food on the side here. Um, I also added this little guy with a shelf. This is where I believe the electrical uh, system is normally in the in the other trailers besides the gear. Uh, since I didn't have that, I just had a little. They just had a little cutout here, so I put this piece on here, and we can put towels and stuff. Then back behind here, we store the porta potty, ladder, the table, and I'll show you uh, how we can use that table. Also swinging around here is my fridge, freezer, and the bed again. So once I get the uh, camper set up, I'll uh, restart the video and show you how the bed works. Okay, so now you can see now you can see that the the unit is up. It took all of about 20, 30 seconds maybe at the tops to get the unit up. I'm standing up in here now, and I'll just kind of go around and show some of the things that I've done inside. Um, I've added the sink, like I said, soap dispenser, um, the uh, faucet obviously it's just a single faucet there's no hot water I don't think I didn't think that we needed hot water um, 12 volt outlet there 12 volt outlets here one of these has phone charger USB output um, these are my switches to turn on this my battery charge is at 13.7 um, this just turns on these switches here's my pump you heard it just slightly pump a little bit so go ahead and shut those off. Now I'm going to show you the bed. So I'm going to put this down. Hopefully we'll be able to see what happens. Okay. So the bed is made up. You can see we got our mattresses in here. Everything. No problems. And one thing that we can do is I can just lift it up. I can clip it here. And... I can sit down and I can eat. We can get my little table out. If I got my the table that I showed you earlier, I can actually sit here with four people. You can sit. I'm five foot nine, and I can sit up fully here. If there's a table here. Two people can sit on each side of the table. So you can actually fit four people around this table fairly easily with the bed in this position. So um, with the bed like this, this is typically how we would use it where in the morning when we get up, we put the bed up, our gear is back here in bins possibly um, and so we can get at that stuff if we need to, we can sit at the table, do what we need to do. One of the other things that I did do was I added this um, the side piece here so inside here I, I, I added these these are built out of half inch birch plywood with aluminum uh, bolstering there you can see I got my 12 volt outlets and my 120 volt outlet this is the, uh, I believe this is the same unit that they use in the other ones. I have marked which, which of these goes where. I have my 12 volt, my solar panel, um, input, solar charge, controller. I also can turn off my 12 volt by, um, pushing one of these. These, this will re, uh, disconnect the the solar panels into the unit and I can reconnect it there these are good for up to 30 amps so that's the whole electrical system I also have a cord down here set up so when I'm ready to plug in the shore power I just put the uh, cord through here plug it in set it back down in there and I'm set up for shore power so that's all everything everything that's inside of this cabinet I got the same thing on the other side 
and with an outlet. Also, I put an outlet on the outside of the unit, so if I wanted to, I could take the fridge freezer, move it to the outside under the awning, perhaps, if I was sure it wasn't going to get wet, and uh, leave it out there so that we would have more room inside. So, <clears throat> that's the cabinetry on the, uh, on the sides that I built. Now, uh, what I was going to mention was how I made the bed. The bed is made out of one by one, you can see it here, one by one square aluminum tubing all the way down except for this middle piece is a um, two by one U tube and uh, like, I, like I said early on everything is bolted with nothing's welded one of the main reasons why I did it that way is because it's kind of a trapezoidal shape. It's about 40, it's uh, close to 50 inches wide at the back. Was as wide as I can make it. If you can see, there's not a whole lot of gap on either side. But on the front, it could be 54 inches wide. And I wanted to make it as big of a platform as possible. And so it slope it uh, narrows as it goes to the back my problem was being able to cut all the pieces um, and give it to somebody and make sure they they weld it square and I didn't want that to happen it to be off kilter so I basically made the outside frame made sure it was square when I, I squared it up and put those two uh, pieces on there to make sure it stayed square and then I started putting these extra pieces on. One thing I will say is if I had to do it all over again I think I would use a little bit um, either thicker walled aluminum tubing or a little bit bigger maybe an inch and a half by inch and a half instead of one inch what I did do, I had some extra pieces of aluminum angle and so I've added those where I thought it was necessary to uh, make the thing a little bit stronger. Now, my, I weigh 170, my wife weighs about 120, 125, and so we're looking at, you know, 300 pounds on the bed. Um, if you're a big couple, and maybe you weigh 400 pounds, let's say, maybe you'd want to uh, build it with a little bit um, beefier uh, tubing. I was trying to keep it as light as possible so it's easy to lift and, and put down. Also, the uh, paneling here is 8th inch birch paneling, and I've, uh, you know, uh, sealed it and uh, varnished it and whatever. Again, if you're big, um, you might want something a little bit stronger than that. I feel like it's strong enough for my use, so that's why I used it, uh, just to make sure it's as light as possible. So, let me put the bed back down. I want to show you a couple of other things here. I'm going to stop the video shortly. Okay, so I've moved around to the back of the unit again. I want to show you how I mounted the back of the bed. So we'll just, well, if I hadn't have locked it, I could have opened that door. I'll have to go get the key and uh, pick this up here in a second. Okay, so I got the lock, unlocked it, opened the back. You can see it opens really well. Big opening. So, now, how did we mount these? If you have a gear, have a Cricut trailer, you'll know that this bracket, and there's another one that mounts right here, those are the two brackets that are used for the children's bed. Um, mine did not come with the children's bed, but it still had these two brackets. This one, there's one here, one here, and then still one over here. 
So what I did was I took the two from the middle and I moved them right to here. And that's got a, that same square tube and it comes down into um, the frame. So basically what happens is the whole bed swings up and out of the way into the ceiling. Um, and uh, I'll go ahead and, and get my wife out here so that we can put this bed up. I can do it by myself, but it's easier with two people uh, to connect it and stuff. So I'll get her and I'll start this back up again. Okay, so now we're inside. I'm going to put the bed up. My wife's going to help me do that. And then I'll show you a couple more things once we get it up. Okay. So basically, if you lift it and then pull it forward, she's going to push it from the back up. I'm going to push it up here. Remember, the bedding is still all connected. Still all up here. And there, the bed is up. And like I said before, now I have a full headroom all the way to the back. We could put a table in here. We could slide a couple of kayaks in here. We could put a couple of bikes in here if we wanted to. Uh, there's all kinds of room. Even with the top down, um, bikes will stand up in here. And um, obviously kayaks would be in here as well if you wanted to do that. So that's pretty much uh, the different things that I've done so far. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we like the trailer. Thanks for watching. Thank you.